morning i'm so sweaty it looks really cold um and it's not cold and i got my, like, my big winter coat as soon as i see fog i have to represent silent hill so today is my second hairdressing appointment this is what my fringe looks like i am loving it i haven't cut it or anything i'm saving that all for like when it's all done i'm gonna cut it shave it i'm gonna do everything i'm gonna do it all, all in one go so this is what the back looks like kind of kind of that color uh yeah kind of maybe a little bit dark than that there we go kind of gingery which isn't a bad thing let me act back on though because it's a mess can't be seen like this so i was told it would take two to three sessions today is number two i like i want it like this if it can go like this i'll be so freaking happy i don't want to go for three sessions i'm not going to go for three sessions this has cost me enough money my snot is dripping down my septum ring onto my lip how delicious um yeah i'm not going to do three sessions so this will be it today just spilt my drink all down my leg. Why am I such a man animal? Pepsi. So I've come back to my old stomping ground. Quick it is. It's so quiet because I'm here and everyone. Do you know what? Mr. Weatherspoon should sponsor me. The amount of people I have brought to Spoons since leaving here is unreal. Like they've all come back since I've left. All the customers like, oh, that bitch is gone. We'll come back drinking now. Mate, Mr. Weatherspoon, give me my cup. Ching ching. I think that's it for now. I just ordered breakfast, so I'm gonna get some brekkie. And then I have to quickly go to the bank and put some money, money, money in. And then I'll be off to my appointment. So I'm gonna sit, wait for my breakfast, and watch and watch some sexy beasts. Oh my god, I just started series two, and the hammerhead shark is creeping me out so much. Did you hear that? I'm trying to find it. There's a seagull in need. I think he's being chased by bullies and I want to like get up and shout at him. Yo, coat is on, food has been devoured. It's good at devouring, nom 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 nom. Especially with spoons toast, oh my god that shit is so good. I just realised I'm sitting near the, uh, the, the nipples, nipple fence. This whole, this whole fence looks like my dreams, like a wall of nipples. So, got hair in my mouth. Why wouldn't I? Got it all over the rest of my freaking body. Uh, so I'm gonna have a quick wee in Spoon's toilets, um, and then I'm gonna pop to the bank, and then I'll go to the hairdressers. Hopefully, this to this. I'm not. Ha I am not completely sure it'll work. I think it'll go in between. Look at them splits. These will all be cut as well. So oh, it looks so dark there. Okay. Even though it looks really split, it's in the best it's in the best health it's ever ever been. So I'm gonna have a quick whiz. Not right here, I'm gonna go for a wing in the toilet, like a normal person, and then I'll be on my way. Don't ever bring your children here. This is absolutely disgusting. I spit on you, Claire. Psh, psh. I'm so uptight today. P paranoia is all I got left. I don't know what stressed me first after how the pressure was fed. But I know just what it feels like to have a voice in the back of my head. Like a face that I hold inside. Face that awakes when I close my eyes. Face that I watch every time I lie. Face that laughs every time I fall. I'm a little bit early, so I'm going to wait opposite my tattooist as well. Uh, I haven't been to them in so long. But today I am trading tattoos for hair. My new addiction. So I know that when it's time to sink or swim, that the face inside is here in me, right underneath my skin. Why does this sound so threatening? So, impulseness. I had my hair cut. Thanks, Dan. 
<laughs> and I was going to go home and cut my fringe myself and shave it all in, but I'm, I'm going to get Dan to do it. And um, so we're going to shave this little bit and leave my sideburn and Dan's going to do a better job than I could do. <laughs> Yo boobs, just got back in my bedroom, everything's a mess, excuse it. Washing! So, I am in freaking love. I might cut this one a little bit more, just because it's black, you can't see it as prominently as that side, but I freaking love my hair. I said to my friends that I nearly cried when I saw it because I haven't liked, I haven't even liked my hair for so long. And now I, now I love it. <laughs> it's all been cut off. It's now like shoulder length. It was down here, but it was all split. It was damaged. It hadn't been cut at all since I shaved it off. So um, I actually have a nice hairstyle where I don't have to wear wigs and I don't have to wear a hat every day. So there's me little sideburn. It's really pale, but I'm gonna, we're gonna grow that bad boy. Oh. I just love you so much. <laughs> so that's it for today. I'll chat to you guys in in a few days, but in a second. Um, and I will put my extensions in and show you how it looks with long hair. But I love that I like it short because I never like my hair short. I love it. I love it so freaking much. I cannot thank Dan at Bohemia enough because this is... It's crazy how much hair can affect the way you see yourself. Right, I gotta go. Little ladies calling me. I'll see you in a few days. Bloop. So, here's my hair. Here it is. It's been about two weeks-ish since I had it done. My roots are already growing through. That's how fast my hair grows. A blessing and a curse, a blessing and a curse. Oh my God, look, I put orange makeup on and it spilled all over my hand and I can't get it off. I've washed my hand and it just won't come off. And it's like I've got a fake tan. It's like I'm from, I'm from Essex, Essex. I haven't styled my hair or anything. I, um, I've got a mirror here. I've just left it as it is because I'm gonna put my extensions in. And I like to style my hair after I've got extensions in. And also I don't actually like to put product in my hair, which is why I never back comb my hair. I'll do this, you know. I just hate product in my hair, like hairspray and everything. It's just crunchy. I just don't like it. I just don't like it. My hair, I think having it cut had a huge part to play in this, but my hair is in quite good condition. It's probably all falling out as I speak, isn't it? Um, so I wasn't gonna get a cut. It was like completely on the spot. Like, oh, I'm in the, I'm in the hairdresser's chair. It's so relaxing. <gasps> Just chop it off, Dan. Chop it all off. Um, but I freaking love it. I actually hate myself for short hair, which is why I wear extensions all the time. But I love this. I need to curl my fringe under. I need to style it better. But I love it. So the only thing I have done different since having my hair done, I have switched all my shampoo and conditioner to Herbal Essences Sulfate Free Hemp Shampoo and Conditioner and it's made my hair so soft and lovely and it smells good in the shower. It's good shiz, yeah. And you can get it on, it's always on offer in Boots. So don't buy it for like four, five pounds, six pound a bottle. Wait till it's on offer and it goes down to like two pound. I found loads actually. The reason I started using it is I found loads in Asda for like a pound a bottle and I thought, oh, I'm gonna give it a go. And instead of buying one, I bought like seven. Luckily, it works really well. Because I'm not a hairdresser, so this could be completely bullshit. But sulfates build up on your hair and give your hair a false sense of healthiness. So you can get a knife or a pair of scissors, I would recommend, and scrape very gently down your hair and you'll get white, like loads of white bits. And that is the sulfates from your shampoo giving you, they're lying to you, they're lying. They're telling you your hair is healthy when it isn't. It may look it on the outside, but inside it's dying. <laughs> Relatable. But since I switched to sulfate free shampoo, my hair's been like lovely and soft. It's been really nice, I like it, I like it a lot. I am loving the blonde half, but I wanted to have blonde just for a bit longer. I was actually thinking about going lilac. 
Um, not dyeing my extensions, because I can't be faffed with dyeing extensions different colours as I dye my hair different colours. So just dyeing my extension, just dyeing my hair lilac, kind of a purpley, not too dark purple because I hate my hair purple. And I've been using Touch of Silver shampoo to keep the yellowness away, keep it kind of blondy, and you can buy that in Poundland. Here are my freshly dyed extensions. Look at those bad boys, they are so thick. I already held them up against my hair and they are far too long for me. For this video I'm gonna curl them but I'm probably going to cut them a bit because they're just too long. These are 22 inch human hair extensions, thick and seamless from VP Fashion. That is how thick that is. Look, look, that's not even the whole head. I've got, I just realized I've got more in the pack over there. The ones that I didn't black. They're so freaking soft, even after me dyeing them black and not washing them properly and <laughs> not taking care of my extensions because I don't take care of anything. They're still good. So what I'm gonna do, I do have a hairband. I got my mirror. I'm gonna pop these in for you guys and show you what it looks like from short to long hair. I love having the option of both. Because, I, like I said, I hate myself with short hair, but I'm really liking it at the minute. But I know in a few weeks or months, I'm going to be like, I want my long hair. I find it shapes my face better. But for now, I'm lacking the short. So, let's pop these bad boys in. I haven't blended them, like the best way to blend extensions is to like do this or to curl them, which I am gonna do now for you. But I have long hair. It's really hard to colour match blonde hair because black hair is black hair. You can get black or jet black, but blonde there are so many shades. So it's not perfect, but it'll do. I'm going to curl these. Um not overly curl them, but just enough to essentially hide that. Look how thick that is. That's just the blonde half. Like that is... <laughs> Gotta hide that a little bit. It looks so shiny on my camera. It doesn't look this shiny in real life. It looks a lot... It, lo it blends a lot better. <laughs> as good on camera as they do in real life. Ignore this, I couldn't curl this. This took nearly half an hour to curl and as you can see I didn't even do it properly. Um, I didn't even curl the ends because that took so freaking long. I've got really old curling tongs. That's as depressed. They're just so rubbish, they just didn't do anything. So I've sat here for half an hour trying to curl them and you get the idea, you get you get the idea. This side, I haven't curled, so ignore this. Um, this is just wavy from my brain cells. Cruella who? Bitch, she'd be jealous. She'd be trying to skin me alive. Oh, well, let me do my fringe quickly. Let me um quickly do my fringe. I'm gonna burn my fingers off, aren't I? Ooh. I need to get a mini one of these, but I had a look in Argos, <laughs> that's my go-to, and it was almost as expensive as a new, as a, as a big one. I was like, how can you do that? It's like half the size. How are you charging me the same amount of price for less product? I see ya. It's like Oreo Thins all over again. I was so excited to see Oreo Thins, and then they're the same price as Oreos, but they're half the Oreo. How are you charging me the same amount for half the product? I see you. Okay, well that's a shit show, but we're gonna we're gonna accept that it's a shit show. So I need to get some mini curlers so I can curl that bit properly under. But I love it. I love the little shaved bit. I love the sideburn. I am growing this bit out. I know it looks really pathetic, like 14 year old guy's beard at the minute, but I'm I'm growing it. I'm growing it. It's just it's gonna take a long time. And I love this little like peekaboo shave bit. Oh, I forgot to shave a bit last night. Ignore that. And the same this side. I find it harder to see this side because it's black. 
this is light so I, I can just see where the shears go but this side is so much harder I've shaved it a couple of times and this bit here just keeps getting further and further back you can you can see my spider <sighs> I love my hair again. Just even if it's just for the 10 minutes that I'm filming this video, it feels really good. Oh, another thing I learned is because my hair isn't green anymore, I need to change my makeup. Because I put my uh, my signature like little blush nose and my purple eyeshadow and everything on, and it just didn't look the same. Um, it went really well with my green hair. I've so got to cut these. I'm going to cut them to about here, nipple length. That's more me because this is vagina length and it's just too long. Sorry. Um, yeah, I put my, like, my purple on and it just didn't feel right. It didn't look right with the blonde or the black and it was just, you know, identity crisis. So I've swapped the purple for orange, which I love and forever black lips and a little bit more kooky. I'm go it's making me like, because I don't have the bold hair, it's making me do bolder makeup, which I know you're like, is that bold makeup? Stay tuned, girls. Stay tuned. It's all a bit of a journey, and I'm so excited to step off that bus after paying my £1.20 bus fare, getting off at the wrong stop because I followed Google Maps and it took me to the wrong place. But I'm so excited to stay on this journey. So, I think that is it. Thank you, VP Fashion, for my extensions. I love them. They're a bit long, but I love them anyway. I'm going to cut them, so... And thank you, Dan of Bohemia, for making my dreams come true. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you for following my black to blonde hair journey. I'm going to say now, please do not go from black to blonde hair at home. Trust me, I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it before, mate. And my hair fell out. I did it years ago. My hair fell out. And I had to cut it off or it gets that really stringy where you can literally like pull it apart like spaghetti, like tuna flakes. Don't do it. Hairdressers is definitely the way to go. But that is it, guys. I would love to hear about some of your hair success stories because we learned in the last video that I bleached my fringe and it fell out. Like it literally, literally fell out. Um, so let's hear about some success stories. I want you to tell me in the comments below your favourite hairstyle, one that you've had or one that or one that you plan on getting. Let me let's tell it style, colour, length. Let's hear it. Um, and let's have a little chat because I just I don't know this is like five minutes that I feel good about myself and I do really need to curl this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a play around. I'm gonna curl. I find it easier to curl extensions and wigs when they're not on my hair. So I'll hang them back on the, my Primark coat hangers and then I'll curl them. I find that so much easier. Much love boobs, take care of yourself and most of all, stay wet. <laughs>